Hey guys, it's Jake, and welcome to the channel where I share travel video tips and recommendations. And in today's video, we'll be checking out Toronto, Canada. Did you know that buffalo wings were created in Buffalo, New York? So I'm not sure what happened. I don't think we got through. I think we just got through one of the stages because it looks like there's another section. But we just paid four bucks and now we're going across some bridge. What do you guys want today? Just to Toronto. Just downtown. Um, we were gonna try to eat some food and explore. We've never been and we were figured like since we're so close, may as well try. Get it into Canada. Canada! Don't mind us. Just cruising town. The wild beavers of Canada. Oh, we made it over to the Canada side. You only across the bridge, which requires a lot to get into Canada. There was a negative test, there was an app, and it sounded scarier than it was to actually get in. But you will need to pay to park, and the place that we did was pretty close to the falls, and that was $10 for 30 minutes. While on this side, you can zip line, and there's a lot more restaurants, it's it prettier with the environment. There's more greenery, there's flowers. Um, so if you have the choice, I would recommend that you come here and you also have a better view because look at it now. Crazy is the other day we were right here. Now maybe here and then it looks way different from this side. This is a really pretty road. Oh, we made it to Toronto and the first stop that we're making is to St. Lawrence Market to try to grab some breakfast and some coffee maybe. The first impressions we have of the city is that it's really pretty and really clean and really green and so we're excited to check it out to try to see what it's actually like to spend your time here. We made it to Balzac's for coffee. <laughs> it's a funny name when you say it out loud. Um, we got chocolate croissant, a holiday cookie. I got a cafe Canadian, which is a latte, but has maple syrup in it, which should be interesting. It's not as sugary or maple syrupy as I thought it'd be, which is nice. In the downtown area it seems pretty walkable where you're you can get most places within 15 to 20 minutes you also have a metro and you can rent bikes It's an old school market where they have meats, cheeses, a year fresh produce, and it has just a lot that you can check out. On the market, we were able to go to St. Urbane Bagels, I'm not sure how to pronounce that as usual, um, to get an everything bagel with cream cheese and lox. The city of Toronto has a lot to offer, which we aren't going to be able to do. Such as sports teams like the Toronto Raptors, you have the Toronto Maple Leafs, and also the Blue Jays. You have Hockey Hall of Fame, a bunch of parks.
Uh, one of the most iconic buildings within the city is the CN Tower, and you can go up into that, which you won't be doing. Something that we may be doing, or we may not, is to try to take the ferry out to the Tonto Islands, which is something that we typically like to do, but I'm not sure with the time whether we will be able to. Toronto sits on Lake Ontario, which is pretty cool. It has a cool skyline. It would be cool if I was able to drone to show you all of that, but it's highly frowned upon in the area. What has been awesome about the city is that there are a lot of parks and a lot of greenery where you can just enjoy the nice weather. Like we found this place right on the bay, um, which is really nice. If you guys can do me a huge favor and tap the like button, it just lets YouTube know that you like the video so it will get shared with more people, which is a huge help for me. We looked into taking the ferry, which looked pretty cheap. It was like eight dollars to go round trip. And because we would just be heading out there to come right back, we chose not to do that because we don't have a lot of time, but we are leaving a lot on the table for reasons to come back. Just like we made our way through Chinatown. Seems like a lot of wires up there. Right near Chinatown, you'll find Kensington Market, which is like a bohemian little area of the city where they apparently have great tacos. When we hear great tacos, we naturally have to check it out. And there is no indoor dining, so we found a stoop to eat. And I've had two of the four tacos, and they're really good. The flavoring really fresh, and good tortillas but now on to the other two. Overall, I thought that the tacos were, were really good. And what did you think about them? I thought it was good. The, like, the gobinator was the best, for sure. The trip today has kind of turned into like a food tour, but there's so much food options here where you have like Turkish food, you have Italian, you have tacos, so we're trying to try it as much as we can. While in the Kensington Market area, you do have a lot of street art. There's also a graffiti alley somewhere as well. Now we found the graffiti alley, which has a lot of vibes of the Black Cat Alley up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin and just below the alley, and you'll find the Fashion District, which is where we're heading next. Went to Strange Like Coffee, which is known for trying to enhance your mood, where they use different kinds of mushrooms to either help with the focus, to improve your happiness, or even to help with your energy. This is the Financial District. And there's some guy that's crossing the road. Now navigate our way to the distillery district, so let's check it out. The area is pretty cool and there's a variety of things like there is restaurants, there's shops, there's ice cream places, there is uh, your distilleries, your breweries, so I think we're gonna stop at a distillery, but who knows? We ended up coming to Mill Street Brewing where I got a watermelon wheat and the lager. Beers are really good. One thing we were recommended when coming over to the Canada side was to stop at Niagara on the Lake, which is a, a little town about 20 miles or 20 minutes north of Niagara Falls on the, the Canada side. We recommended that by my aunt, by the border crossing guy, um, and 
we thought about maybe trying to stop on the way back. This little town, we might have the time to explore, but you may want to. Really enjoyed our time here and wish we had more time to explore. We're not gonna check out the ramen scene here. The place we came to was called Sato, where I got buffalo chicken ramen, and she got a spicy miso. So we'll see how that goes. I'm kind of nervous, but we'll see. How is it? The broth is pretty good. It's not bad. I have better. But could be worse. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have a better idea of what to do. And if you want to be around for more travel videos, then subscribe. And if you want to see more travel videos, then you can check my channel page. I'll see you guys next time.